Welcome! Here is a quick guide on how to track and control fruit growth. The colors on the map represent the stress level of the trees, regardless of fruit measurement. The overview card allows you to see the climate, plant stress, irrigation, and soil moisture history. And by using the Phytech fruit sensors, it allows you to set and achieve your fruit size goals. Go to the fruit section to set your target. Here we can see the last measured fruit diameter and the total fruit growth over the past seven days. Let's set the fruit target size and date. Fruit diameter must be at least 20 millimeters, which is 0.79 inches, before the calculation can begin. The black line is your target curve. This is the required path to reach your target. As the fruit grows, we can track them against the target curve. When the fruit is on track, it is expected to reach the target size on time. An oversized fruit means it might end up growing too big. In that case, some plant stress, those orange and red alerts, can slow down fruit growth. We can induce stress by reducing irrigation. An undersized fruit means it is growing slower than the target curve. Increased irrigation and decreased plant stress can boost the rate of fruit growth. That's it, we're back on track. If you're looking to compare different tree groups on the same field, for example, between different irrigation levels, you can view them all together. Notice the weekly irrigation bars. You'll be able to see the total evapotranspiration, irrigation to evapotranspiration ratio, and the irrigated amount. You may also want to see the periodic view. Switch from showing the tree data to showing the fruit data. You can see the actual fruit size or the daily growth and add in the target curve. That's it, you're ready to go. Don't hesitate to contact our support team with any questions.